Hello, I'm Ken Fogg. Grab a tea or coffee and join me now for the following Newsnet Baton Rouge special report. There's all sorts of other projects around the state, but all of them really focused on a couple of things. Uh, preservation of some, some major needs around the state. There's a, about $40 million that's going to be designated to rural roads and bridges. Uh, we have a tremendous backlog in that area. You go and ride through some of the rural farming communities, a lot of which I represent. And you may have uh, a bridge out, a small bridge. It may be uh, $500,000 cost to fix that bridge, but it's been out for two years and it may be a, a 45 minute detour to get around to the next closest crossing. So we have $40 million dedicated to that. Um, another very significant uh, piece that was added when the bill came over to the Senate was uh, the Bush Highway over in St. Tammany Parish. And that that's significant because that was one of the last remaining time projects that was never able to be fully funded. And so Again, you have, uh, we're leveraging $50 million and it's going to allow the state to, to complete about a $250 million project um, from the use of a public-private partnership and also state dollars that they've been putting aside in anticipation of trying to get that project done. So we're really taking the 700 uh, million dollars or so that we're getting and it's probably going to end up being uh, closer to a, a billion to a, a 1.2 billion dollars worth of things that, that will actually get done. Um, there's also some other projects. There's another 100, 100 million dollars uh, dedicated to an I-49 North piece up around Shreveport Bossier and there's also 150 million dollars of uh, that's going to go to I-49 South, uh, South of Lafayette to continue that phase on to try and finish out the I-49 project. And all those things are very significant when it comes to uh, not only transportation but economic development. Anytime you add uh, better highways and existing uh, frontage roads, you have a, a good opportunity for new businesses to come and take advantage of that. So really that, that, was, uh, that was my big focus of the session. While uh, I wasn't the primary author on the bill, I, I thought it was probably the most impactful thing we could do, not just for this region, but really for the state as a whole. Um, it's the most money that we've dedicated towards uh, roads, bridges, and infrastructure in the past 30 years, and, and we were able to do it without having to raise any taxes, so that was very significant. Um, one other thing I'll touch on before I go sit back down, because I know we can get back up and answer some questions, and that's always important, was uh, we've also been working on the uh, a new Mississippi River Bridge, and it's something that we've all been working on as a delegation for over a year now, and there'll be an announcement Monday at the next Road and Bridge Authority meeting, and uh, we're finally going to get the $5 million necessary to, uh, to complete the environmental impact uh, portion of what needs to be done in order to even get to the point of being eligible to build the bridge. That's something that's never been completed, and so I think that's a big step forward. And the best way always to use to describe that is if uh, Warren Buffett flew down here and gave us 150, uh, I mean, 1.5 billion dollars, and said, "Here, y'all go build the bridge. It's a gift. Just go build it wherever you want." We still couldn't do it because we don't have this environmental impact done and so that has to be done in order to cross a federal body of water and so while we're while we're finishing that out we're also going to be uh, continuing our work on the other phases but that's vital to this area in this entire region thank you for joining us today i'm ken fob and i will see you next time right here on newsnet baton rouge